In this tutorial, I'll show you how to blur the number plate of a car in Filmora 14 using the planner tracking feature. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, if you don't have Filmora 14, kindly use the link in the description below to get it and follow along. Now, I have my footage of the car I want to blur the number plate for. I'll just make sure I keep the project settings. And here's the car. So let's assume I want to blur this number plate. If I play it, the car comes up to right there. That's where the number plate disappeared. And I can press on C to just cut. And then press on V to get back my cursor and delete this. So I want to begin with just a short clip to show you how it works. Depending on the length of your clip, the planner tracking feature may take a little bit of time. But that's why I've made this a little bit shorter to show you how it works. So everything is ready that's our car with the number plate we want to blur let's go back home and then when i click on my car here there are a bunch of options under video for we are in the basic mask ai tools this is what is of importance and what i'll do i'll scroll down and then you'll see planner tracking it's under the motion tracking feature and i'll turn it on once i turn it on there are two options for the tracker, either the auto or the advanced. Now, if you choose the auto, it's actually going to track for you. But with the advanced, you get more finer precision to what you want to do. I'll click on this. Once I do that, I'll get this uh, kind of blue green kind of box here. So I need to position this where I want it to be. So I can just drag it right there. And then using these handles, just try and make sure that I get this uh, to the point where I want it to be. Somewhere there. And then just bring it somewhere there. So once you get that uh, in order, there are a couple of options you can do. Uh, There's the accuracy level. Either uh, the low, default or high. Let's go with high. And then from here, before you link anything to blur the number plate, then we need to analyze that these options here and I'll click on the play button here to track forward. It's going to track. So you can just pause it slightly and you can actually uh, track to previous frame and see uh, what it looks like. There we go. There we go. And we may need to readjust this from here. Let's click on this, move this slightly, move this slightly, and then track from there, track forward. And the reason for doing this the, the manual way is so that if it misses out, then you can always uh, readjust uh, instead of having the auto feature work. And you can see it's tracking really good. But once we get there, it seems to start uh, seeking again. So we can just click on it and just readjust it slightly and then track forward. And you can see everything is going as we want it to be. So once it gets to the end, it's going to kind of disappear from the screen. And now what we need to do is just link an element. You can either import from a computer or add a mosaic. I'll add a mosaic. And if I go back home and then click on this uh, eye here to hide target box and play, you can see that the number plate has been blurred. Super simple, super fast using the planner tracking feature. So that is how you can blur the number plate of a car in a video using the planner tracking feature in Filmora 14. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.